and that's their goal on offense, to gain at least four and maybe five yards because it gives them great situations where they can throw the ball for short yardage and also pick up three or four yards every single play in this Austin game. Marked at the 25-yard line, where it's second down six. This play goes nowhere. Tommy Hendricks makes the stop on Mike Gingrich. It's a loss of a couple. Rich, the option Tommy offense Hendricks. can't have plays like that. They have to all be positive yards or zero yards gained on the play. They can't ever give up yards. Yardage under Ken Hatfield. You can see the rushing yardage. And Rice has made a pretty good living as a running team, as has Hatfield as a running coach throughout his career. It's a very difficult offense to teach an offense. There's only four teams in college football playing it right now. On third down, Jamie Tyler is swallowed up at the 26-yard line. Carrying by number 37, Jamie Taylor. And Renis led the defenders. James Hall assisted. Rob Renis made the stop. And so far, it looks like the adjustments Michigan has made to this triple option have been effective ones. They've been effective. I think David Lee, the offensive coordinator for Rice, he told us yesterday that he wanted to throw the ball more on first down. That's two drives right there. They haven't attempted a pass yet. I think they need to get Michigan off, Michigan off balance a little more to have a shot of winning this football game. Travis Hale at his 11. Diallo Johnson at his 33. Flag down, a clip, a block to the back. This one's coming back. Adam Williams made the stop for Rice. Those kind of penalties hurt your offense. Right there, Michigan could get the ball at midfield, but because of the block, they're minus 15 yards. That's 15 more yards. Michigan offense has to go to score, score a touchdown. And it wipes out a 19-yard return. Those were the types of mistakes that Michigan did not make last week in their win over Notre Dame. Illegal block in the back during the return on the offense. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. First down. And with that, we'll take a timeout. Rice and Michigan are scoreless. Michigan, second possession. Rich Waltz, Gino Toretta, Don McPherson from Michigan Stadium. Penalties were big last year, not last week. Today they already have a couple. Movement, flags. Rich, this is exactly what Lloyd Carr was talking about. His team needs to focus. They can't have these penalties. They have to improve every week for them to have a shot of going through the Big Ten undefeated and winning the national championship. They can't have stupid penalties. It doesn't matter who they're playing. Lloyd Carr talked about this Rice team as an opportunity for his football team to improve from week one to week two. So far, we haven't seen that improvement. Brady airs it out for Marcus Knight, who's there, but can't make the catch. And a nice job on the corner by Josh McMillan, the junior out of Richwood, Texas. Rice is really putting their secondary on islands. They're coming up with eight and nine men fronts. And they're putting the, the corners have to play these wideouts man on man, and they're outmatched. They're better athletes at the University of Michigan than a Rice. But hey, it's working so far. Catch by Walker at the 42 yard line. McMillan on the coverage. Not enough for the first down. And Michigan again is faced with a long third down. It's a nice throw and catch by Brady there. Rice is 
defense. They're really mixing it up, which is good, but they may give up a big, few big plays here with Blitzen so much. Mike DeBoard, the offensive coordinator of Michigan, told us against this defense. You have to be patient, but maybe take some shots. He's thrown long once. This time he gets it to Walker, who's got the first down. And he's down to the 37-yard line. Jason Abair made the stop, a 20-yard pickup. Walker, the sophomore, out of Syracuse. Nice, pa nice patience in the pocket, Rich, by Brady. He sat there and waited for his receiver to come open on a little crossing route. And then you see Walker make a nice play with the ball after he catches it. Mike DeBoard, right smack dab in your living room. Thomas hit at the 35. The Owls have four or five guys on top of them. Wesley Kubish made the initial hit. Kubish a surprise starter. Richard normally starts at that linebacker spot. He has a sore knee. So Kubish gets the start today, and he's already made three tackles. Pitch to Thomas inside the 30 and he has the first down at the 26 yard line jason a bear made the stop the front four of michigan if they play like they're capable they should own the offense the line of scrimmage against the rice house here you'll see the offensive line make a nice seal the fullback shea make a nice plot block on dawson and thomas makes a nice play nice nice little run up for a lot of yards there carries 28 yards he's already on pace to break that 32 carry mark and he gets another bouncing outside he's dropped travis ortega made the stop anthony thomas jason Abair in the stop brandon if Bryce keeps assistant. playing defense like they have these first couple drives it could be a long game for michigan here's there's only four four minutes 53 seconds left in the first quarter and there's no score that's exactly what Rice wants in this ballgame. They want to go to the fourth quarter just close to Michigan. On second and ten, flags are down. The Wolverines may have moved again. Ball start prior to the snap on the offense. Five yard penalty, second down. This could be a long day for referee Steve Newman as well. Later on today on ESPN2, college football continues. South Carolina and Georgia. Lou Holtz looking for his first win as the Gamecock head coach. And then at 8 Eastern, number 23, Texas visits Rutgers. For more, log on to ESPN.com, part of the Go Network, go.com. Play action, Brady, lots of time, and his throw caught and completes. Marcus Knight kept the feet in, and it looks like he has a first down. Nice Steve throw. Hutchinson lost his lid. Nice throw and catch by Brady, but this is all as a result of the offensive line giving Brady all the time in the world to throw the football. Hutchinson and Backus on the left side. They've been starting three consecutive years. That's unheard of in college football. When you only have four years to play, here you say, look how tough he is. His helmet flies off, and he's still blocking his guy. Pearl Springs, Florida. Hutchinson, a two-time All-Big Ten pick. This is Thomas. He's down to the 12-yard line. Anthony Thomas. Jason A. Bear, Wesley Kubish. Along with Richard Pittman on the stop. Rice is really flying around on defense, giving Michigan a lot of different looks in the secondary. If they keep playing like this, like I said, it could be a long, long game for them. One of the keys for Rice's defense to continue to play like this, though, is their offense possessing the football, which they have not done yet in two drives. Brady, quick throw. 
throw. Caught by Terrell. And he's down to the eight-yard line. Adrian Sadler on the coverage. David Terrell. Adrian Sadler made the stop. Terrell, who last year kind of lived in the shadow of, of Ty Streets, who had 67 catches, eight catches against Notre Dame. Ball at the seven, second down. Third down. Third down. The Wolverines must get to the Rice four. Brady to the end zone. And Terrell runs out of room. Fourth down and three. Lloyd Carr went for fourth down on an earlier drive. Gino, it looks like he's going for it again. Rich, it doesn't look like the Michigan offense is focused. They have four penalties against them early, and they're not they're not on cue. The, the offensive line is doing a good job, but Brady's off. That's where penalties come into, into play in this game. Check that. Je uh, Jeff Del Verne has raced onto the field. The Wolverines took a while to make their minds up. Del Verne is on. And he'll attempt the field goal. He was 4 or 5 last week against Notre Dame. And he hits this one from 24 yards out. The junior who got a scholarship on Monday after his performance against the Fighting Irish. Michigan on the board. But maybe a moral victory for the Rice Owls. Michigan scores first against Rice. Let's go down below Don McPherson. Donnie? You know, Rich, the, the size and speed differential between these two teams is very obvious. But what is also obvious is that Rice is playing very disciplined defense. That's what's enabled them to keep Michigan out of the end zone. They're flying to the football, and these guys are right where they need to be on every play. Hey, Donnie, you run a lot of option. What's wrong with Rice's option right now? How come they're not moving the football? Well, I think the big problem that they have right now is the fact that Michigan is just a lot bigger than they are up front. It's hard for them to move people out of the way. They need to stay with the option, though. They, they don't have a chance in the power game. They tried that a little earlier. They need to stay with the option where there's a little bit more deception. On that one play when they got four on first down, it was a deception play. That's what they need to stick with. Aiden Epstein getting sent to kick it away. Dan Dawson deep. Epstein, who had knee surgery in early June, but still has a strong leg. Dawson. Across the 25, and out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Rice on top, or rather, Michigan on top. Rice gets the ball next. So that's where they get the other 4,000. The capacity of the stadium is listed at 107,000, but actual attendance is usually announced at 111,000. Straight ahead goes Jamie Tyler. Let's go to the studios, Reese Davis. Reese. All right, Rich, let's get you up to date on a couple of things. Ball State in Wisconsin. Badgers had just recorded a safety on the free kick after that. Here comes Nick Davis again. Took a punt back last week. He's stealing carries from Ron Dane. That's what Ron Gilmore keeps telling me anyway. Davis taking it all the way to the house. Badgers on top of Ball State by a count of 12-0. Over on ESPN, Pittsburgh and Penn State. Nittany Lions started off a little sluggish on offense. Richard Casey in there at quarterback. He'll roll out and find Mark, Mike Saramelli. Touchdown. Nittany's up 7-0. Rice keeps it on the ground. Out to the 30-yard line. Jamie Tyler, the fullback. And it's a third down. Only 18 yards for Rice right now. And Gino, this third and five illustrates the importance of first and ten to Rice. It does, but I think with the yards, that's a big discrepancy in yards, but it's only three nothing. That's exactly what how, the way Rice wants this ball game to be. Richardson goes down in the arms of Josh Williams. He'll lose five yards. Exactly what the option does. They will not block everybody on the Michigan defensive line and let a guy come free. Richardson is trying to pitch up off Williams, but he can't get rid of the ball because he penetrates so fast. That's why Michigan is a top five team in the country.